Hi everyone, my name is Zafar Siyab Khan Masood and this video is based on my fluid mechanics lab report. This is being supervised by my instructor engineer Muhammad Salman. Before we proceed, I want to clear up a few things. This report is based on five different experiments. This one is solely dedicated to only one of these experiments. And the other experiments, they have been mentioned below in the description. You can visit their links. And lastly, each one of these experiments is then subdivided into three different parts. First of all, where we explain and name the parts of the apparatus. Second, we explain the procedure, how the experiment has been performed. And third but not least, we give you all the lab observation and calculations we made. Hope that sums up all the confusion. Enjoy. So this is the fluid friction apparatus. It has a lot of parts, but don't be confused, everything will be cleared. This is the wide angle view of this apparatus. So let's start with some of its own components. These are the four pipes with different diameters. We will be using them for our experiment. And these are the four tapping points. Each pipe has two tapping points. The isolating valves, which are used to control the flow of water through these pipes. The first main inlet control valve which lets water into this whole apparatus. Then we have these tubing and connectors. The flexible pipes are connected to these. The second outlet control valve through which the water flows out of this system. One of those flexible pipes is connected to this mercury head loss scale. The difference between the two heads gives us the mercury head loss. We have started the hydraulic bench and then now we open the main control inlet valve. Slowly and slowly, we don't want to put extra pressure into it. Now we go for our particular pipe on which we want to perform our test. In this case, we are performing our test on the second one, so we only open that valve and close the rest. We also open all the tubes. Now with this whole system, all the air has been completely removed and we can perform our test. These tubes are then connected to the mercury manometer. We also open the outlet control valve. Now with this setup, all the air has been removed inside the apparatus. Now we also note down the volume that has discharged and also the time it took. Do be careful when locking and unlocking these flexible pipes on the tapping points. If we want to perform this test on some other pipe, we simply remove the clips and place them in the other tapping points of another pipe and open the control valve and close the rest. 